Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the collective energy update for February 20th to 20, 2023. We are going to be talking about spirit. We're going to be talking about owning our intuitive, how we do that, expanding our intuitive skills. The beauty of being an intuitive guide is when you subscribe to my channel and when you follow it, it's an exchange of energy. So essentially the highest guidance comes through for those who are attuned to the frequency of the channel, which is a beautiful thing. So the updates and the channels and the frequencies and the energies that are happening are on a whole other level right now. If we look into the channeled guidance of the energy that is happening right now, the timelines have shifted again. You may have noticed a ton of energy flowing through you. You may have extreme exhaustion. You may have wild intuitive experiences. There may be so many things going on that you're having a WTF moment for some of you who are very uh, spiritually aware. So What's happening in the frequencies right now for the collective update is many, many people are going through karmic release. So karma is neither good nor bad. It is simply neutral. Because karma is neutral, it is part of the, the law of cause and effect. You take an action, there is an effect to it. So whether it's karma that you're receiving all that good karma that you have been accruing, or whether you're receiving karma that's teaching you a lesson or seeing where you have been or what you have projected onto others or different experiences, whether it is good or bad or right or wrong, however you view it is irrelevant karma is in full swing. We have been leading up to this since 2020. There is a lot of energetic play. So this is physically, this is emotionally, this is spiritually. Everybody's gifts are going to be extremely heightened at this time. There has been a significant influx of um, light codes, energy, and activation that is realigning our DNA and it is purging and releasing all of the old karmic values is what I'm hearing and anything that is not in attunement. So when we look at the physical plane, let's talk about the physical plane on the current updates. A lot of the things that are happening are literally splitting of the foundations of the earth. Mother Earth is changing. All of the natural disasters that are happening, there is going to be more of those. That is um, part and partial. We cannot change consciousness and not have the physical plane affected because the physical plane is part of consciousness and vice versa. When the physical plane begins to change her consciousness and her physical makeup, it naturally inherently affects the consciousness of those inhabiting the planet and that which exists on the planet, whether it's the water, the trees, um, the skies, the people, the animals, all of those things, everything is shaped and formed through this. So the current collective energy really is, I wanna say a mishmash. This year is going to have major spiritual unions coming together. Um, a lot of interferences, I'm hearing Ganesha, all blockages are being removed. Um, for those of you who are walking your highest path, it's gonna be very important to spiritually, energetically, and protect your mind as we move through the levels of, I want to say chaos, but chaos is clearly the divine reordering. My daughter Ava in spirit is saying, it's literally the divine reordering things to bring back in the balance. It's part of the great awakening as one might call it, the movement from the older to the new earth, the golden era, however you wish to put it in there. You've got all the star systems, the galaxies and the constellations and the spheres of consciousness that are all in an interplay with us at this time. The massive energy downloads that some of you will experience and your attunement to spirit can sometimes create a spiritual psychosis. So the reason I'm talking about this is as a channel, not only are we channeling through other teachers, ascended masters, different spheres of consciousness and groups of light beings. But in addition to that, it's really attuning our energy. So the reason why we want to attune our energy is because the amount of light that's happening on this planet is historical. It's an event where there are multiple players at play right now and many different spheres of consciousness that are impacting us and helping us. 
So all of these things are happening at the same time. Some people want to hear about the earth plane. Some people want to hear about their love life. Um, some people want to hear about the collective consciousness. The collective energy right now is full. There's no turning back is what I'm hearing. Like we're full steam ahead. Planetary commission is full steam ahead with green lights on moving the collective consciousness to greater than the 15% that's up holding it. So it's like barriers are being released through consciousness and those barriers that were in place are that of the Piscean age is what I'm hearing. It is brow beating of the collective consciousness that's happened on a spiritual level, on a psychological level, on an emotional level, on a physical level, DNA, all of those things. So as we come up to all of these changes in the energy, you can expect for those of you who are into it, sensitives, all those things, you can expect to be able to observe a mass amount of chaos. When people start opening to the collective consciousness, if you knew what was actually in the one of collective consciousness, there is a lot of stuff in there and it is not all pretty. There are so many different life forms at play. I'm sure that most of you who would attune to this channel are familiar with those things. Because of that, because there is so much stuff coming up, we will need to ground ourselves significantly. You will need to, I'm hearing anchor in your light, anchor in your light, anchor in your light. So that means taking a deep breath, going outside, observing. The, the divide is getting greater, I want to say. So it's almost like when I look at the bottom of the ocean floor, which there is a split, a crack, it's all light fractals and vibrational frequencies coming up and out of it, it's ancient and it's flooding the systems, which means it's flooding the earth plane. It's flooding the energetic field. It's actually, I'm hearing metamorphosizing the grid lines that surround the earth plane. That has to do with other light beings, other dimensions, all of those other things. Everything is working exactly as it should. The chaos is the divine reordering. You may so I want to go back to spiritual psychosis. They're telling me, my daughter is telling me who is one of my guides. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, one of my guides is my youngest daughter who passed away. She's in spirit. She's a guide. I also channel multiple ascended masters and different realms for the purpose of serving other people. Guiding, information, anchoring in light for others. There's so many different words that could be put along with that. So one of the other things that comes along with the concept of spiritual psychosis is this, and it's very important to understand. So when we talk about a spiritual psychosis, sometimes when we're on a spiritual journey and we're open and tapped into intuitive consciousness, it's like a cylinder sphere, right? You can tap into multiple different spheres of consciousness and energies, and sometimes it can take take over your energy, like kind of like an empath, I guess you could say. The reason why this is important is as people's abilities get enhanced, as their consciousness becomes open to all the different spheres of consciousness and the realms and the things that actually exist in consciousness, Sometimes we go through a period or moments or feeling like you've gone crazy. It's like an influx of all these different spheres of consciousness that you're receiving all at the same time. So that can really pull people off track. It can be frightening for some people where they will pull back and say, I don't know what this is. They will pull back on their spiritual journey. For others, they go all in and it creates that spiritual psychosis, for lack of a better word. But it's important to note that um, even on my journey, there have been periods where there was such an influx in spiritual information, channels, people coming in, experiences coming in, past, present, and future across the timelines the intuitive realms. It's kind of like we think of ascending, we're going up. But what's actually happening is the process of ascension is simply a graduation from one school of thought to another, which changes your energetic forms, your DNA, your physical plane, and how you manifest. So it's really just ascending you to a new level of you, you embodying more of your higher self versus moving around with your higher self slightly disconnected or unaware of it. So it's moving in tandem at the same time. So when we talk about spiritual psychosis, this is a time frame right now where you're going to notice people are doing crazy things. You may notice that you're doing something crazy and 
never thought you would do that before. It's something that you would never normally do. That is part and partial. When you have major influxes of light that change the consciousness quickly and rapidly, it creates those experiences. So if you feel like you're going all over the place, you want to ground, you want to come back into the body, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. I'm being told for those of you who want to go home or have a yearning to go home or feel like you're living in the twilight zone where things are just crazy, like shocking the people around you or the things that are happening around you, it's part of the great divide. It's that division, um, and I don't mean divide in people, it's the division of the different layers of consciousness. So there is an elevation of consciousness that happens. For some people, they are going to elevate in an evolution. For others, they will be dropping off. Yes, there is going to be a lot of death in the coming years, but we do not die. It is simply the body and that experience that dies. Our consciousness lives forever, which is as a channel of universal consciousness, allows us to tap into all of the things that exist in spirit form, which is everything. So you are spirit embodied. My daughter Ava is spirit, not in a body, but in her infinite form and all knowing of spirit. So as we move through this time frame, super important to ground yourself, come back to the self, be in the body, play, do a lot of self care, have a lot of self compassion, and just keep grounding, protect your peace spiritually protect yourself, energetically protect yourself, get yourself in water, be in nature, go for walks, whatever it takes, I'm hearing, whatever it takes for you to feel grounded and peaceful amidst the chaos that is that you may experience or observe around you. That's very important, especially those of you who are very sensitive, intuitives, empaths, things like that, and you sense people's energy and the energy around you acutely, I'm hearing, you will need to do the most grounding because you are a transmuter. You will need to protect your energetic fields so that you don't become drained by the energies around you, but rather you're fulfilling out your sacred contract of filling your energy and the overflow will transmute it, which I'm told is a whole other video that we're supposed to share how that works in mastering your own energy and how that transmutation is supposed to actually happen in a way that is of the highest service and benefit to you and to everyone else without sacrificing who you are or your energy. So that's the current collective energy update. Uh, all information, these are general messages. If they resonate, they're yours. If they don't, the messages are not for you. Leave them for somebody else. And of course, I hope you will join me again and subscribe to the channel and co-create the energy with me here as we bring in the highest guidance from Ascended Masters, your guides, and of course, passed on loved ones.